This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, is brought to you by the Roland Corporation. This should be a really fun segment to work through. It's a tune that you're probably not going to associate with a, a piano solo, and but at the same time, I think when you hear it played, you're going to really change your mind, and it's one that'll be really, I guess, near and dear to all of our ears because we've heard it so many times, and that is The Doors tune, Light My Fire. With me to work through it is my good friend David Benoit. Hi, Dave. Hi, Scott. How, How are, are you? you? Good, good. I, uh, this is going to be another one that is going to be a fun one to work through, only because I think most people wouldn't associate this with someone sitting down and playing this as a solo piano tune. Mm -hmm. You know, normally you've you, you, you just got this locked in feeling of what that tune's like from what you've heard all the time. You know, and you don't hear a lot of covers of this tune. Yeah. I don't think, you know, I haven't heard a ton of covers throughout the years, maybe I just haven't heard them, but you know, there's, there's such identifiable things with what we think about this tune. And it was really interesting for me to hear the tune when you recorded on your Heroes album mm -hmm. that, you know, how you kind of approached it. So, so let's dig into this one a little okay. bit. So the start of this one obviously mm -hmm. has that really famous you know, solo at the beginning, that kind of, you know, organ solo or whatever it was. It wasn't actually an organ. We think it was a Farfisa or something, yeah, right? Something we're, like that. We're Some not sure. cheesy thing. Some old electric <laughs> piano somewhere along yeah. the line. So let's, uh, let's actually, can you play just mm -hmm. a couple measures of that just so everyone can hear what that's all about? Sure. Uh, the, I think the way he originally did it was um, just some... it, It's that, that not is a... a it's yeah. a hard piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, such far out changes because yeah. then also at the very end it like modulates up yeah. to a different thing. Yeah, yeah, it's what. But, yeah, it. Uh, so you just it, the way you you just tried to transcribe that note for note, huh? You just listened to it and said, "I've just got to get this underhand." It kind of is what. You it know, is. I think I I started to transcribe it and I actually went out and bought the sheet music. Oh, <laughs> did you really? <laughs> did you really? You could, and it's written out and I thought, oh, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. I just thought, well, I'm going to take the shortcut here and. Uh, sure. Because uh, I had never, I, I remember hearing it growing up and never bothered to learn it until I decided <laughs> right. to record it. I said, well, right. I better get the music. So uh, that's what I did. All right. Now you put a little twist on it for your arrangement, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now what have you done to change a little bit? T uh, two things. I took it out of tempo. Okay. Um, and then uh, I decided to, uh, what's, it's called a pedal tone. And what that means is that you're going to take on your left hand. Uh, the first change is a, a G chord, and I'm just going to keep the G uh, okay. in my left hand constant through the whole thing. Okay, so, so it gives it this kind same. of mysterious. That's nice. Yeah, and then it kind of segues to. Okay. And that's, that's where it normally yeah, drops in. Yeah. That is nice. So the pedal tone is really just keeping the same bass note mm -hmm. across bass multiple note. chord changes right. without shifting the roots at all. It's, okay. it's an interesting sound because it, it. As opposed to. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good idea, and I remember when yeah. I heard it on your recording, it was, uh -huh. it was, it's just a nice, you still absolutely know that mm -hmm. that's the intro. Yeah. You still absolutely identify it with this tune, yet you've given it a little, you know, stamp of, of mm -hmm. your own personality for whatever reason, get into it that way, so. Exactly. Nice stuff. Okay, All well, right. let's get into where the tune actually starts, you know, okay. working through the, the thing. It's really just, what, an A minor to an F sharp minor, isn't that the two chords that happen yeah, over and over? Yeah, you know, he's basically... <laughs> What I wanted to create was, I, I thought the melody was so haunting uh -huh. that I wanted to take it, to completely reinvent it and take it into my own space. Uh, so I, I, I did this thing where um, I had this little left hand moving thing where you. Yeah, that's a. And then it takes to this whole other. Cool. Ooh. Can you do that real slowly for us sure. so we can see it on camera, just yeah. that left hand part? Left so you're hand playing is a. starting then the A. It's the e, fifth, okay. the, the E. It's kind of almost it's like a, a series of yeah. fifths here. Yeah. It's like a minor ninth. And then you finish it off with the, yeah, the little. And it creates it. almost like a, some movie score yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did there. And then the same thing starting then on the, the F sharp. The same thing on the F sharp, exactly. Yeah, that's nice. I think I had a, I remember doing a movie score. I, I used to play a, on a lot of soundtracks. Uh -huh. And I remember a, a riff that the composer had written that was kind of 
mm-hmm. like a real mysterious sure. and I remember that and I thought what a great the, sonority. The fog rolling in yeah, over the yeah. exactly. <laughs> Somebody's about to get murdered or something whatever it is what I can't remember what the you movie know, was but <laughs> jumping off track but that amazed me sometimes yeah. we bring that up isn't it cool how music can affect like your emotion wow oh, where's yeah. the science in that you always think that is magic the fact yeah. that you can hear something and it and it and it's kind of across the board everyone hears mm-hmm. that you know no one would think that that's not kind of spooky mm-hmm. or not you know and it's like that is the craziest thing sometimes i'm just kind of in awe of all this that we're doing and we we listen to it and you think that is bizarre how it can make your emotions feel okay, differently it's the power know? of music it's, it's so powerful yeah, and there's just no explanation for it yeah. no, no science behind that one so anyway i digress all right so back to where we are so um yeah let's go ahead and play through a few measures then okay in the, in the thing let's work to the next section and see what we can Kind of so so the yeah the, so the intro is you know the or the mel- basic melodies yeah. there's one of those little okay. you gotta throw those in you know? now here's where yeah. I change it I gotta go back a little to the more to the rock and roll and then probably took a liberty there um, uh, probably the original was a, sure. mm, yeah. you know that standard uh, uh, G. Yeah. But sure. I, 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 I took the melody and kind of turned it into an A thirteen chord. Okay. Okay. And but but it definitely has. I, I definitely changed the mood to more of a rock and roll. To out of yeah. your yeah. mysterious uh, mode. To a foot tap. Then then I did something weird here. This is a total. I was going to ask thing. you. I heard. That. Okay, what is that? <laughs> what chord are you playing? I love that chord. That, that, so this is a D chord, you know, and you're kind of in your probably the second position or whatever. That's fine. And then, then instead of, you know, I think the I think the original was just a B chord, you know, yeah. you go to, uh, so it instead of that, I, I kind of, right. I didn't move this chord at all. I just, you know, I'm going to okay. keep that the same. Then I'm going to do something a little bit fancy with my left hand, which is I'm going to go down to B. But then I'm gonna go up here. Okay. That makes it kind of what we would call a B7 raised nine. Okay. So sharp nine. Sharp nine. B7 sharp nine. Okay. But, I, but the fifth in there gives it this little bit of strength that would, would it, it, you know, the, having the, having this note in. I sure. kind of like I can do it. I mean, I have small hands as okay. you can see, so I have to roll it. But basically, it's a, like a tenth of. You know, okay. Just, just, that's actually very simple. And then I've got that D chord it's still sitting there, so it just kind of goes from here. So yeah. it a, oh. That is. Well, it's, it's a nice twist at the end, yeah. and that is, it, it catches your ear. When mm-hmm. I heard the recording yeah. you did, that was a clearly that was something you dropped in there that wasn't yeah. something everyone hears on the recording. So exactly, I'm sneak them in when point. I can, you know. Cool. <laughs> now this tune, when you're doing that, you know, do 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 do, and it's you know pretty straight ahead chord changes, mm-hmm. you know, going back and forth, pretty repetitive. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think if you see this on a lead sheet, it's going to look like, boy, what can I possibly do to make this sound interesting in my right hand? It's yeah. a pretty, you know, it's not a real melodic line. Do 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 do. It's a vocal line. So yeah. having said that, how mm-hmm. do you interpret vocal lines like that? It's it's this constant issue we we jump up against, and mm-hmm. you know viewers of the show, and we're always trying to give away some secrets of how can you make that that melodic playing a little more interesting. So mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Yeah, a few tricks. I heard you just mention there that you did a little kind of a yeah. jump from one note to the next. Anything else you do, or how would you approach any of those? Any well, what we talked. You can give us? We we talked earlier about register, and uh, w- the one thing, right? I mean. Now, let's, typically what I do is uh, most songs have two verses or even three. And, of course, each verse is different because the lyrics are different. Right. But the melodic line is the same. So, you know, what do I do to make the, other than just repeat it note right. for note. So the, the easiest thing is just to move it up to a register. Oh, so you just move it up to another octave. Yeah. Okay. Now, this time, now, see, I'm already adding. Now I'm adding the... I'm adding the sixth. Um, you know, here's the melody. And my little okay. thumb is on the sure. E. Sure. I'm doing the da. Yeah, the, yeah the, so the a little tweet. ornamentation of some little variety. Ornamentation. Yeah. And this, this is the same left hand hasn't changed. But now I've kind of adding the right hand. You know, hit the melody here, and then I add this uh, minor chord in the in the 
right hand. Sure. When I got these two fingers sure. left. Sure. No, I, I hear you. I know. Yeah. That is so funny. We talk about that. The, you know, lots of times I think you find yourself in a position where you're you're playing the melody line with your pinky mm -hmm. or your you know your ring finger, and then you've got these other fingers hanging out to yeah. fill in some chords. And yeah. Sometimes so can... we get some grief about saying, mm -hmm. "Oh, that's terrible fingering." You know, playing. I'm like, "Well, wait a minute." But I want to have all these other fingers available. That if there's yeah. some chord tones I want to fill in, I can do it that way. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, I, and again, what's interesting is that uh, having come up as an ear player, I mean, I, I studied classical a lot later. Sure. So I, my fingering was terrible. I yeah. mean, I, I just kind of did whatever I did and made but it work. At some point, you say, you know, it's, I think it's, <laughs> we're more concerned with what something sounds like than, yeah. than how yeah. well you fingered it. Mm -hmm. you know, if it sounds good and people like it, mm -hmm. I think it's right. Yeah. One yeah. way or the other. So. Yeah. Well, listen, let's wrap right. this one up. I'd love to okay. hear you play this tune. Sure. So this is going to be a, yeah, mm -hmm. your interesting David okay. Benoit arrangement <laughs> of Light My Fire. All right. Okay. Terrific. Thanks, man. All right. I appreciate pleasure. it. This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, has been brought to you by the Roland Corporation, international manufacturer of the finest keyboards, organs, and digital pianos. To find out more, log on to RolandUS.com.